season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. 402-403-9478. That's our texting number if you are new to the show and you didn't know that. You can text us or it's Pat and JT. Slide into any of our DMs. <laughs> Trust me, they are wide open. Please do. Please. <laughs> um, so yesterday in a meeting, um, I, had t- I told you this briefly this a little bit of this story after our meeting because um it's pretty high level meeting with everybody here in the office and i was uh, terribly distracted at about i don't know for a 10 minute window of that meeting so i get a text first of all i don't know if you remember my phone ringing no okay so my phone <laughs> o- is- like old school iphone ring that when you hear it in, at lows you know it's somebody probably above the age of 70 because it's <laughs> crazy loud and it just, bl- just bl- but you can have on your favorites, you can have a setting that if it's your phone's on silent, whatever, it'll ring through. I have that for the kids. I have it for Beth. Right. Emergencies. Yes. Right. And mm. they know that, you know, texting is right. preferred because texting doesn't notify me. Just a phone call from them will ring through. So I'm like, during work, don't call, just text unless it's an emergency. Okay. <laughs> so when I, the phone rang, I instantly silenced it and, I, and I'm like, oh, Sophia. What's going on? It's like right after school. I'm like, what's going on? So sometimes Bennett specifically will forget sometimes and just call. What are you doing? Not working. So anyway, I get, and as soon as I silence the phone, I go into my text messages Mm -hmm. and um, I'm going to read. Was it blown up? Well, yeah. So I I wrote back, actually, I texted her before she could text me. I said, in a meeting, bud, I'll call you back. You okay? Question mark. Right. And she goes, I'm stuck at school. My key doesn't work. And I'm like, okay, because ironically enough, we had that ignition issue with her car, the whatever, the, I love the, this. what's it I'm called? Just, the ignition I'm, I'm just deal? watch. Go ahead. I don't know what it's <laughs> called. The <laughs> place, you're right. The, it's, yeah. You're the, right. The ignition. Yeah. In, when Not the, the key, in the engine. When you put the key in the ignition, that sometimes you'll have a, a difficulty with your, if it yeah, gets yes. loose, sometimes the ignition can get loose and you yes. have to kind of jiggle it to get the right. Yeah. And we had to replace the ignition. And on, on, on a, a, an older vehicle. That can happen. That's been started a few times. Yep. And, <laughs> and, and the key has been worn down. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you need a new key, whatever. So we went, we've got a new ignition this summer. And so I'm thinking that's where my mind goes to. I'm thinking, oh, we fixed the wrong thing. We needed just a new key, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, she goes, my key doesn't work. I said, oh, no, the same problem as before. Do you have to work? Because she was like, she goes, yes, I do at five. No, like I can't even mm-hmm. get into my car. And I'm like, okay, is the battery dead? So I'm thinking, how would you not? I can't unlock it, she said. Let me go to the next. So she has a fob. She has a fob. So I'm thinking, well, the battery died on the fob, and she doesn't think that, oh, okay, I'm going to put the key and just unlock the door old school and just get in my car. She go, I said, does the, key, <laughs> does the key not fit? Oh, wait, hold on. I got to go back. Uh, I, said, I said, is the battery dead? She goes, I can't unlock it. I said, does the key fit in the lock? She said, I didn't try. It's freezing outside and came back into school. I said, well, try that and open it. Like that. Yeah. She goes, I don't know how to. And instantly right there, <laughs> I got to get a drink. <laughs> you need something stronger than that. <laughs> oh, you don't know what's in here. Um, yeah. <laughs> she goes, I don't know how. I'm like, well, that should work. Your battery's probably dead in your key. Like she was trying to unlock it. Then. Yeah, the fob's so, dead. She goes, yeah. I don't know how to. Just put the key in the hole of the door. <laughs> turn it. Then you get in your car. She goes, okay, I got in. <laughs> Is this this is this is taking me back to the day of of what happened? What was it with Bennett and his his windows were iced over? Uh, yeah. Was it the def- was it the defrost? He didn't we were, we were, scraper. Scraper. Yeah, we- <laughs> they frosted over. So they thought we were going to miss school. Can't see. Can't see. <laughs> so then and then I she goes she was okay got in and I put back the yes and the yeah. hands up in the air raising the roof emojis yeah. and then about oh I don't know fifteen <laughs> minutes later. How do I lock my car then? And then she goes, then before I could even respond, she goes, never mind, my key works now. <laughs> so that was my first fa- realization that I was a failure as a father when it comes to those things. Second one, <laughs> last night, about, I don't know, 8 30. Oh my God. Get a call from the boy, and he's like, uh, what are you doing? Nothing. Just sitting here watching TV. Um, okay, uh, got a question for you. F- food question. Okay. Okay, no problem. He goes, um, so how long is, uh, is meat good? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, that's very broad. <laughs> and I said, can you be a little bit more specific? He goes, yeah, we're uh, making this whatever. I don't know what it was. And um, 
the meat, our meat just smells weird. I'm like, oh, okay, well, what's the story with the meat? He said, we took it out of the freezer and defrosted it. I'm like, oh, okay, well, he goes, how long is it good in the fridge? And I said, and Beth was on speakerphone, and she's like, I don't know, like two or three days, who, you know? And he goes, oh, silent. <laughs> no. And when he goes, when oh. did you defrost, what month did you defrost this? <laughs> well, he said, um, so that's why our house stinks. I'm like, yeah, maybe. And that's, I'm like, well, when did you defrost it? And he, long pause, long pause. You could hear him counting. He goes, um, like five weeks ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. I said, y- yes, you need to throw that out. Clean your fridge. He goes, I was, we were wondering what our whole house stinks. <laughs> like rotten meat. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> And he goes, oh, all I wanted was, I think they were making something, whatever, in the air fryer. I don't know how what does it, was. it How does meat last that long in a refrigerator in a house full of boys? I, I don't know. I don't even understand that. I don't even know. That's yeah. so, that's funny. Remember, oh God, see, and that makes me think of another story. When was it when you were moving? Did, was it when you came up from Tulsa? Oh, yeah. And you that had was... the refrigerator tape shut? But they they left food in it. The when idiot, they moved it, idiot movers. <laughs> That's why you never go to valuemovers.com because they just they just zip sealed that freezer shut and it was there for six months in the summer in storage. In storage, and then when you opened it up, it was like it was all it was. It was like a scene from uh, the Green Mile. Yeah, remember right. Remember that when the, the guy opens his mouth and all the blah. all the bugs. Yeah, and, I, then, and then, then you know, and then you always see that stuff on TikTok where they're like. Well, you you take a pork chop and you pour whatever pop on it, and all the parasites come out. Whatever, I've never tried I, that. I don't know if no, it's making. I don't want to know. But <laughs> when you say that, it makes me think because there, there was a lot of pork in there. Yeah. So it Where'd was sealed from? with plastic. Sealed. Where'd they come from? Because there were flies everywhere. They were all dead at the time, but there were fly carcasses everywhere. But where did they come from? If anybody has that answer, I, I I know we've talked about this many times over the years. Yes. This has come up in conversation. But where did where they do, come from? Where do pork flies come from? Uh, <laughs> yeah oh my god uh i am happy to report though now several days after the fact that my stomach doesn't hurt anymore <laughs> oh good from your from your uh Although it's postal still, digging even even yesterday it was still like if i lean on the counter it was mm-hmm. like oh god that hurts just to touch it was like oh man i mean so seriously. did you decide are you going to continue doing ab workout i or need to you... find somebody i need to find somebody who who wants to dig a post hole and make some money Oh, I don't know. I'm talking about your fitness. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I'm not going down that road. I'm not yet. I'm not. I haven't flipped that switch. That's something. I can't fake it till I make it on that. With the working out, it's like it's got to be there or it's just it's, not going to happen. It's not going to work. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm with you. I can't. You can't have ass it. Yeah, I'm just going to throw this out there, though. Yeah, if you know anybody who does a little manual labor or who, who wants to make a couple bucks to dig out a post hole. I'm looking for somebody. And that may be the same person that knows about pork worms. It or could pork be. Flies, or pork flies, if right? If you know anything about pork <laughs> flies and want to dig a hole, <laughs> let us know. Um, uh, one thing I did want to bring up, too, is we had talked a few days ago about the Ghislaine Maxwell trial. Mm. And we were talking uh, about the items that were in the manual for the housekeeper, right? And right. it was so specific. Very specific. And, um, and, and, kind of, and it, it just felt creepy, right? So a friend reached out and actually made a point of, of a few items and, and kind of turned me around here on this. Um, <clears throat> because the manual itself, if it wasn't hers, I don't think it would be, it would be creepy. Right. Right. But he pointed out, he says, you know, a lot of people that if you have properties in any hotel, they have their own manuals of, of, um, you know, work best regulations and whatever. best practices, yeah. processes and protocols. Yeah, right. That makes sense. And, um, They don't, you know, they just, this is what we, this is what I like. And these are the things I'd like to have in my place. And so that's your job to take care of those things. Right. I think the thing that, that really, you know, we were talking about the, it had round cotton pads, it had Q-tips and it had certain kind of lotions and moisturizers and, Mm -hmm. and everything though. I think the thing that was really creepy about it for a lot of people when they're reading it, it, it wasn't that it was so specific, almost like it, like you'd think, oh, that's almost psychotic because it really isn't Mm -hmm. it's that it was so pedestrian the the items that she had listed were brand names you buy at cvs right yeah true it wasn't like ultra super high-end ones you never hear yeah that's true so so it's in a creepy way relatable because you're like well that's the stuff i have in my bathroom yeah okay yeah that's gross 
now, now I'm creeped out. Um, but then someone else had pointed out too that there are some items that are on there that were kind of weird, like talking about how it was very, very specific about the SBF factor of the lip balm that came from Kiehl's, but yet there was no specification of what kind of razor or shaving gel that she wanted. Yeah. It was like, it, it was just you know, specific generic. On so you think it was things that she liked personally that she loved, but other things she didn't care about. So she just like, whatever. I don't know. Because that was the stuff that was in her bathroom. You know, it was like, she had to have shaving cream and a razor. And then she had to have specific brand name of this yeah. lotion or this SPF of this brand. And so some things were very specific and others were just kind of left to pick up whatever you want out of the bin at the dollar store, you yeah. know, whatever. That is, that is true. <laughs> then, that being specific on certain things, but other things you're yeah, like, whatever. It was crazy. And then, then, then it pops in my head. Okay. Talk about a little psychotic. Uh, I'm imagining that the manual for my cat sitter looked very similar. Oh, man. Because. <laughs> Do you have a copy of that? <laughs> Oh man, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Because when I was gone for the week, right, and I had a great company though. The they come to your house and it, it's awesome. So animals get to stay home. But she, but she wanted to know exactly the routine so mm-hmm. she could try and replicate it, right? But you think about the way that you <laughs> take care of your animals, you know, to make sure everybody is taken care of, and you have a routine that you follow. You write it down. It looks can look. Like- <laughs> <laughs> it can look psychotic. You're 100 percent right. Because if you wrote down, okay, and then if Addie meows behind your back and turns and walks away and looks over her shoulder, that means you're supposed yes. to follow her. 100 percent. And if they yes, and on on the Monday and Tuesday they get tuna and salmon. <laughs> Tuesdays they get salmon with gravy. Yes, 100 percent. So maybe her wanting Keel's lip balm isn't such is, a big deal. Is the only thing that's not creepy now. This whole case. yeah. You're right. If you go, if you, you go, profiled us, if you profile, <laughs> yeah, if you profile and asked us not only about pets, but just like certain things that you do all the time, if you were supposed to write that in a list of your, your, your process, your process, it would look pretty psychotic. I think so too. <laughs> so I'm going to just kind of like push that one away and we're not going to talk about that anymore. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. If Addie looks at you, 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 you can let her lick your hand twice. But other than that, then it's enough. You need to tell her no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then you need to tell her no. They, and that's the name they, of the podcast. The <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is, I'm looking at everything so much differently I know. <laughs> Huda Media Production.